everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new then hello, I'm Lucy, nice to meet you. Oh no, no shaking hands. Oh, forgot about that. We'll do a, we'll do a wave from a distance. I make videos here on YouTube like every other person does right now. If you guys would like to join me then click that subscribe button down below and join me on my YouTube channel. So, in today's video, we're going to do something very different. Lucy never does this. I've never done it on my channel. I've never done it for the past, like, however many weeks. I'm going to put makeup on. Mind blown. I know. I know. I haven't worn makeup in so long that I thought, you know, when I do put it on, I'm going to go a little bit extra. I'm going to put that winged liner on. I'm going to put those individual lashes on a little bit because you know what? Well, I don't know why, but I wanted to. I'm filming videos today, so if you see this, you know, this setup, this look more than once, then you know why. Um, and I thought, do you know what? Might as well film doing my makeup because I want to. <laughs> so yes, if you want to see how I do this makeup, then just carry on watching. But before you carry on watching, give this video a thumbs up and go and subscribe down below. It will mean the world to me. And now I will let you spin the screen and watch the video. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the Revolution Liquid Highlight in the shade Liquid Starlight. I always use this stuff as all the products in this video. They're the only products I use. My just go-to makeup products. So just on the cheekbones. I still haven't watched, washed my makeup brushes from my boyfriend that does my makeup, um, the No Arm Challenge speaking like this um which is really bad i actually need to wash them like desperately i might actually have to do that tomorrow my words got flummoxed then um yeah i might have to wash my makeup brushes tomorrow going in with foundation i'm going to use the maybelline fit me foundation in the shade 220 again this is my go-to foundation i love this foundation i'm going to go in with the same brush as before the real techniques buffing brush I love that brush as well. I literally use it to blend out like all my base makeup. Oh, there's a little bit on there. Let's put that on the cheek. Just think the colour is like perfect for when I have a tan. This colour is literally perfect. So if you're using the St. Moritz tan in the dark, this foundation, the shade 220, is just perfect for me. I don't know whether it's different on different skin tones. I can imagine like the actual tan, can you wear that? The actual colour of the tan, this foundation works really well with. So I'm just gonna pop that all over, I got an itch. See, look at that foundation, like my skin is really bad at the moment and it just helps it look a little bit better. I mean, it doesn't look perfect because you know, it's my skin but this side is better today so we'll just film from this side. <laughs> I'm literally just putting makeup on today for filming videos and I thought I might as well film another video for you guys. I enjoy filming my makeup. I used to only do voiceovers, like I used to hate talking whilst doing my makeup because I just can't concentrate on two things at once. If you watch my videos you'll know. Um, and my setup was so bad, my mirror used to be like here in the video and it was like what is the point however I have a little bit of a better setup now and I can chat about more things because you know I actually have a life now well not really in lockdown but you know I can find rubbish to chat about now I'm going to go in with the collection Last Imperfection Concealer this is in the shade number one lemon I love this concealer for under the eyes I'm going to pop that under my eyes And on top of my lids as well. And blend that in again using the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I just use this brush for literally everything to do with my base. I love it. Setting powder. Now this is my favourite. This has actually come up in my favourites videos. So if you guys have watched any of my videos you will know I love this product. This is the Revolution Banana Light Powder. I'm going to take a Real Techniques contour brush, oh sorry, I'm just going to pop that under my eyes. I actually have a fan blowing at me from the other side of the room and it is blowing this powder 
like off the brush as I'm putting it on my face. I'm gonna powder my forehead just a little bit more today just because it's feeling a little bit more oily today. I don't know what's going on, but we're just gonna get that forehead and that chin a little bit extra powder today. Okay, moving on to brows whilst my under eyes are baking. I'm gonna go in with this brow gel. This is the Rimmel London Brow This Way Clear Brow Gel. I only bought this like mm, six months ago, I'd say. And since then I hadn't had a brow gel. I absolutely love it now. I'm gonna have to get this mirror out to get a bit closer. Um, but yeah, I love using gel on my brows now. I have quite thick and really coarse brows if you've seen my natural hair you will know um so having a brow gel just really helps them to like set in place I feel like you either really hate or really love the fluffy brows um i used to really hate them and now i really love them however i just don't, i can't decide whether i love them on me or hate them on me so we're gonna go for them today and see see what i feel but my brows are really good to do it with because as I said, my brows are really thick, so we'll just see if I like it today. I'm going to go in with the Revolution Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. You guys have influenced me to get another brush. Influenced me? Told me to get another brush to use this. However, with the situation, I can't just nip into a super drug. So I'm just going to wait, basically. Um until I can get another brush to do this a little bit better. The one I'm using at the moment is, the name's come off, but it's this one from Real Techniques. All my brushes are basically Real Techniques. Um, this angled brush, we're just gonna use this for now until I can actually get another brush that works better. Okay, I'm now gonna go in with this big fluffy brush from Jack Wills, and I'm just gonna brush away the bake from under my eyes. I'm gonna go in and bronze. I'm gonna go in with the Hoola by Benefit bronzer, and it looks like this. I love this bronzer because it's really cool toned. It's not like that orangey shade. It's, well, a cooler toned bronzer. So it's really good for contouring. I put a lot on then. I don't really use blush at all so I use this to contour but I will also like put it on the apples of my cheeks and blend it up as well just because I like to be really bronzed and that works for me okay so keeping with this bronzer I'm gonna go in with oops see what I mean before about me not washing my makeup brushes this is the brush I want to use but it is a bright orange don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have to go in with this one. Um, I don't know what brush I'm using now. It's just a plain one. Um, I'm going to go in with the bronzer and I'm going to put it into the crease of my eye. Let's hope this brush doesn't fail me. If so, I'll blame my boyfriend because he was the one who ruined all my brushes. If you haven't seen that video, by the way, I'll have to link it for you because it's so funny. I literally laughed for like ever when I was editing it. So funny. If I don't, like, can't be bothered doing, like, proper eyeshadow, but I still want something, this is what I'll do. I'll literally just blend my bronzer into my crease. Um, and a little bit on the lid. Like, just, like, basically just, like, all over. Um, and it gives a little bit of colour and a little bit of depth without having to, like, actually sit there for ages and do, like, a proper eyeshadow look because I'm just... I'm just not one of those girls, I'll be completely honest. I'm really not. I do the odd occasion one where I like push the boundaries but most days it's just this. I've just put some underneath a little bit just because we're going to do wing liner and I want it to like blend together a little bit. Okay this is where we ruin it all. I'm going to try and do wing liner. I am using the number seven stay precise focus. Number seven stay precise felt tip liner. It obviously it's a felt tip so it looks like this at the top i cannot work with any ones that aren't like this because i'm just that bad at liner i might go off camera to do this just because i'm gonna focus um i feel like doing it today so i'm just gonna wing it get it wing it <laughs> wing liner there's one done that looks okay Okay, 
okay they're definitely not equal but we're just going to go ahead anyway i'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara this is the why do i look like an umpa lumpa why is the light changing so much what's going on i'm then actually going to try and put some lashes on i know who is she i mentioned in one of my videos the other day that i didn't have any lashes um when i did that like sunset eye makeup i said in that video that i didn't have any lashes and my boyfriend's mum actually rang my boyfriend up and she was like i've got some lashes for lucy because in her video she said she didn't have any and she brought me a little pack of um individuals from primark you know the ps ones she obviously still had like a pack of them so she brought me them which was really cute so i actually do have lashes now that i can use i'm actually going to go in and do my lips before i put my eyelashes on i'm going to go in with this lip pencil from makeup gallery um i have no idea what shade this is in i know this is from poundland this is like the range from poundland makeup i love this lip liner i've had it for ages i'm just like bought and bought and bought again so i'm just going to line my lips with this And I'm literally just going to apply a little bit of Vaseline over my lips. I don't like wearing a lot of lipstick. Okay, so before my camera rudely interrupted me, I was just explaining that I use a lip liner for colour and then put Vaseline on for a little bit of gloss and to keep my lips nice and moisturised. My lips get dry really, really easily. So my like lips are constantly have something on them, whether it's Carmex or Vaseline. So... That is what I've done for my lips. I also don't like like bright colours or sticky glosses. So I just stick to what I know. <laughs> I'm now going to go in with lashes. As I said before, these are from Primark, the PS collection. They are little individuals. These are actually a pound, which is brilliant. And these work really well for me. I've used them before and I really like them. Um, I'm not a big lash girl. Like I don't wear lashes at all if any um i used to wear them in uni quite a little bit hang on let me sort my brushes out um i used to wear them in uni um on nights out and stuff but only if like the other girls are wearing lashes and i had to make an effort i'm gonna wait for it to dry let's listen to a bit of jojo while i wait that's the way to live so i've just put one on each corner just to make it a little bit more like flicky outy um i haven't put them on the best so we won't zoom in we're just gonna leave it i'm gonna go in with highlighter now and i'm gonna use the makeup academy undress your skin in the shade iridescent gold i'm gonna use this on my little brush i don't know what it's called because i'm having to use a different one because reese ruined all my other ones as i've said before so i'm just gonna apply this on my cheekbones tip of my nose bridge of my nose so yes yeah, so thank you very much for watching this video guys i really hope you enjoyed watching me do my makeup and be a little bit little bit outside my comfort zone thank you very much for watching i love you all lots and i will see you on sunday for another video bye guys